Hi there, Ben here. So the next tax tip is ensuring all of your family members are in the same tax bracket. So this tax tip actually assumes that you're using a trust, a discretionary trust maybe, or a company that might be owned by a trust to be able to distribute some dividends around um, and, and be able to have the flexibility to distribute to different family members. So uh, what we want to see with this tax tip is um, all the family members, like no, no one's in a really, really high tax bracket while someone's in a really, really low tax bracket. So um, let, let's take the example of, you know, um, my, my own where I actually work full time um, and my wife is actually on maternity leave at the moment. So she's not actually earning any income uh, from, from working. So if I go and distribute all the income to me, that might take me into that highest tax bracket of 47% tax or maybe more. Um, while my wife, with, with a, no employment income, uh, might be earning literally zero dollars taxable income and still have a tax-free threshold of $20,000 that, that's unused, that sort of thing. So what we're suggesting here is we might, let's say we've got $200,000 in income, instead of giving it all to me, we might give 100 to me and, and 100 to her so that we even that out and we, we use her lower marginal tax rates um, to, to pay a little bit less taxes if we gave that extra 100000 to me. So. Yeah, I guess the key here is we don't want to see a huge discrepancy in tax bills or taxable incomes um, because of the marginal tax rates of individuals, which says the more that you earn in Australia as an individual, the, the higher your tax rate as a percentage. Um, so there's a bit of an art and a science to this one, um, and, and the bulk of our tax planning is doing what we can here from a, a legal tax perspective, tax planning perspective, to, to keep that tax bill as low as possible. Thanks for watching.